welcome back to the channel. Uh, in episode one, we took a look at the lighting system, how we can install the pack lights, a switch, uh, sizing cable, sizing fuses, parallel and series systems. Uh, in episode two, we took a look at the control panel and how we could isolate it, especially these three charging points that are permanently live, but now they're not. Uh, and these two circuits here, which are lighting circuits, which are linked directly to the fuse box. I'm turning them off. So everything works as we planned. Uh, now we want to take a look at our dimmer switch and put that into our 12 volt lighting jig, which will go into our van at a later date. <coughs> also need to apologize in advance as my director is 11 years old and has been given some creative license. Thank you for watching. So let's have a look at the dimmer switch. Three cables. Yet again, the white is the earth. So I'll be putting a little piece of black heat shrink on there to denote that. Uh, the red is the positive to the power. And the black is a positive to the light. So we're going to dive in and wire these up now. Put my temporary fittings on. So I've got the heat shrink on and my temporary connections. Uh, I could, in theory, wire it into this connection here, uh, but as these are in the ceiling, uh, I'm not going to do that. I'd like to wire it up to replicate how we actually will be wiring up in the van. So this will be going directly back to the buzz bar. Okay, so let's do that now. my crimping tool I have a slightly wider gap here than I do here so this is slightly narrower and this will take the ring connection so and that will just the back of the ring connection goes into the wider bit and then you can bring it down just to hold it in place uh, feed the wire in and just know I've got a little bit of the black cable at the back bring it down and you get a lovely professional finish and it's these connections along with the heat shrink over the top that I'll be using in my installation on the van they're simply superior uh, to the temporary fittings and they're water resistant as well And I'll label this cable up later. Not the correct foods in there yet, but just for our trial, that will do. I will put a five amp fuse in there. <clears throat> so now we can trace this red cable all the way back to the fuse box. As a temporary measure, I put a five amp fuse in there. And now we've got one more cable con to connect. So now it's our black cable with our red heat shrink, so it's another live that's going out to our light fitting. 
I've disconnected the lights from the control panel and now all I have to do is go over to that first light so it's just to explain that black with the red heat shrink I've made a red cable and that's going into here let's just get that out of your way so that red cable coming from the black cable with some red heat shrink on is going into this live wire from the light good now we've put some power on let's have a look see if it works So let's turn it on and that's with full on and that's right down to its lowest setting and there's no flickering with the naked eye. We'll just turn the lights off to see what that's like. the lights back on. The circuit is now controlled by the dimmer switch in one location of the van. So we've disconnected it from the control panel. Uh, what I want to do now is wire it up uh, very much in a similar way as a two-way switch or in the States as a three-way switch so that we can turn it on and off from two different locations in the van. So to make the dimmer switch a two-way switch so you can have the dimmer switch functioning in the bedroom area and then the control panel over by the door all you have to do is disconnect the red cable from the fuse box cut that ring connection off Pop on a spade connector and then show you. Going back to our control panel, which we looked at in the last episode, all you have to do is pop that red cable into that middle terminal, which will, yeah, like that, and you're connected. So let's go back, let's have a look, see if they work. Power to the control panel, although I don't need to turn this on because these two are separate from the rest of the control panel. Interestingly, these lights are off, but if I go back to the dimmer switch, I can control it at night. Before I go to sleep, turn the lights off. And then if I wanted to, I could turn it on there. There you go. Kind of two-way dimmer switch that will function both at the end of the van and at the front of the van. I hope you found the video informative and if you did would you please give me a thumbs up. In the next video we'll be looking at dimmer switches and two-way switches. Thank you for watching.